In this lesson, I'm going to talk about the continuity on a closed interval. So a function f is continuous on the closed interval from a to b where a, and, where a and b is included in the set. If it is continuous on the open interval from a to b where a and b is not included in the set. And the limit of a function as x approaches a from the right side is equal to f of a. And the limit of the function as x approaches b from the left side is equal to f of b. So we say that the function f is continuous from the right at a and continuous from left at b. So to demonstrate this theorem, I'm going to use this example here. So we have uh, the function of square root uh, 4 minus x squared, uh, which is basically just the top half of this circle with uh, centered at the zero, or centered at the origin with the radius of 2. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take the limit as x approaches 2, okay, from the, from the left. So we have the limit of square root 4 minus x squared as x approaches 2 from the left. Okay, so as x is, a, as x is approaching 2, okay, the y value, right, is getting closer and closer to 0, okay. Okay, so in this result, okay, when we plug in 2, we can see that we get 0 as expected. Okay, so let's look at the limit of our function as x approaches minus 2 from the right side. Okay. So as x approaches negative 2 from the right side, the corresponding y value is getting closer and closer to 0. Okay. Okay, so we can see that we're going to get square root of 4 minus 4, which is 0. Okay. So now let's check the function values. Okay, at 2 and minus 2. So the function value at 2 is going to be 0, okay? And the function value at minus 2, okay, is also going to be 0. Okay, so this tells us, okay, because right, since the limit as x approaches 2 from the left of our function is equal to f of 2, which is equal to 0. So this tells us that it's continuous, right? This function is continuous, right, from the left, okay? So it's continuous from the left. Okay, and similarly, uh, since the limit of our function as x approaches 2 from the right, okay, in this case, well, x is approaching, sorry, x is approaching uh, negative 2 from the right. Okay, so that is equal to f of minus 2, and that's equal to 0. Okay, so that means f of x is continuous from the left, I'm oh, sorry, from the right. Okay, okay. so we showed that the limit as of the limit of function as x approaches 2 from the left is equal to the function value at, value it at 2, which is both equal to 0. So that says that function is continuous from the left. And since the limit of our function as x approaches negative 2 from the right is equal to the function evaluated at negative 2, so they have the value of 0, so therefore this function is continuous from the right. Okay. 
All right, so that's how this theorem works, okay?